Welcome back students. So today we are going to discuss another set of problems on transfer pricing. So look into the board and just try to understand the question. So what is given in the question? What is given in the question is there is a company termed beta limited and it has two divisions that is alpha and beta. And the annual capacity of alpha is given as 15 lakhs and the alpha has an ideal capacity. So what is ideal capacity is all the 15 lakhs which is produced by alpha is not sold in the market. And the budgeted residual income of beta is given as 120 lakhs and alpha is given as 100 lakhs. And the other details of alpha division is given. That is the sale to outside customers is 12 lakh units. So as mentioned, alpha's total capacity is 15 lakhs. It has an ideal capacity. That is all the capacity is not being sold. So it is selling only 12 lakhs to outside customers. That is 3 lakhs is the ideal capacity of alpha. Clear? And the selling price per unit is 180 per unit. And the variable cost per unit is given as 160. The divisional fixed cost is 80 lakhs. Capital employed is 750. And the cost of capital is 12%. And additional information which is given is beta, the other division, has received an order to produce a similar components which alpha is producing. So as a result, what beta did is, beta asked alpha to generally supply the idle capacity what it has. That is all the 3 lakh units. But these, this alpha and beta has come into a contract that while it's transferring the input of alpha, it will charge an extra variable cost of rupees 5 per unit. And what they ask you to find is, Calculate transfer price by which alpha should quote to beta to achieve its residual income. So what I ask you to find is you have to find the transfer price at which alpha should sell to beta. So that the residual income is recovered. So what is the residual income of alpha? 100. So first thing what you have to know is what is residual income. So residual income is the income which is left after deducting all the expenses is termed as residual income. Clear? So what you are asked to find is you have to find the transfer price in such a manner that the residual income of alpha that is 100 lakhs can be recovered from that transfer. Clear? And another thing is you are also asked to find out the circumstances in which proposed transfer price may result in suboptimal decision for beta limited group as a whole. This is what is given in the question. So now coming to the solution. So the first thing what they ask you to find out, they ask you to find out the transfer price by which you can earn the residual income of 100 lakhs, isn't it? So residual income, as I've mentioned earlier, it is the income earned by the company after deducting its expenses. So on the basis of residual income, if you want to fix the transfer price, the first thing what you have to find is how much benefit you have to earn from the market in order to earn that residual income of 100 lakhs. Okay, I'm repeating it once again. In order to find out the transfer price on the basis of residual income, so the first thing what the company has to find out is how much benefit the company has to raise from the market in order to earn this residual income of 100 lakhs. So under step 1, what we are going to find out is we are going to find out the contribution to be raised to get a residual income of 100 lakhs. That is how much benefit the company has to raise from the market in order to earn this 100 lakhs as residual income. Isn't it? That is if all the expenses are covered, only then this 100 lakhs can be earned. Isn't it? So now we have to find the contribution to be raised to get a residual income of 100 lakhs. So what we will do is the in the given question, the fixed cost is in lakhs, it is given as 80, isn't it? Another expense is cost of capital, that is for procuring capital you have cost. 
So cost of capital is given in the question as 12%. So you have to take 12% of 750. 750 is your capital employed. Then if you substitute you will get 90. So this is your expense and you have to earn a residual income of 100 lakhs. Is it it? Residual income of 100 lakhs. So what is the total? 270. So this is the benefit which you have to earn from the market in order to get the residual income of 100. Okay. This is the contribution to be raised to get a residual income of 100. To get residual income of 100 lakhs. Clear? So the first step is clear. So in order to get the residual income of 100 lakhs, what you have to do is, you have to add your expenses and your expected income. When you add everything, you will get the total income. Okay, you will get the contribution. So when you raise this amount from the market, only then you will be able to earn a residual income of 100. Okay, now this is your total contribution. The next thing what you have to find is, you have to find the contribution per unit for earning 100 lakhs. So this is your total contribution. How much per unit contribution you have to earn in order to get a residual income of 100 lakhs. Okay. So in the, given, in the question it is given as the selling price per unit is given as 180. Isn't it? Minus variable cost per unit is given in the question as 160. So 180 minus 160 is 20 will be the contribution per unit to be charged to earn a residual income of 100. Clear? Yes. And coming to the third step what you have to do is, this is your total contribution, isn't it? You are not selling all the goods to your division, but part of the good is sold to outside customers. So the third step what you have to do is you have to find out the contribution on sale to outside customers. So for the outside customers, you are selling 12 lakh units. Isn't it? So per unit, the contribution what you have found out is 20. Isn't it? So the total contribution on sale to outside customers is 12 into 20. If you will multiply, you will get as 240 lakhs. This is the total contribution you are earning on sale to outside customers. Clear? And the fourth step what you have to find is, you have to find out the contribution to be raised from transfer of 3 lakh units. That is, the total contribution is 270. From this 270, a part is sold to outside customers. That is 270 minus 240. If you did that, you will get the contribution to be raised from 3 lakh units. Isn't it? From the total contribution, if you detect the part contribution which is sold to outside customers, you will get the contribution to be raised from transfer of 3 lakh units. That is, total contribution is... 270 from that if you deduct total contribution on sale to outside customers that is 240 so 30 lakhs 30 lakhs will be your contribution to be raised from transfer of 3 lakh units. Now you have to find out contribution per unit. So this is your total contribution. Per unit contribution is when you divide 30 lakhs by 3 lakhs you will get the contribution per unit that is 10 per unit will be the contribution on transfer to beta division that is 10. Clear? So what we have found out is 
when the company wants to earn a residual income of 10 lakhs then it should earn a contribution of 20 per unit and on transfer it should earn a contribution of 10 per unit clear when it is wanting to earn a residual income of 100 lakh so per unit it should earn 20 and on transfer it should earn 10 per unit as contribution. Now you are asked to find transfer price, isn't it? So what will be your transfer price? The variable cost plus your contribution, that is the residual income has to be earned, isn't it? So you will add contribution plus they told, they clearly told in the question that in order to transfer to beta, the alpha company wants an extra variable charge of rupees 5, isn't it? You have to add that extra variable cost. Clear? So the variable cost for producing for alpha is 160 plus the contribution to get a residual income of 100 lakhs. What we have found out is it is 10 per unit plus extra variable cost what they need is 5. So the total is 175 per unit. So this will be the transfer price which should be charged by alpha division to beta division in order to earn a residual income of 100 lakhs. Next thing what they ask you to find is indicate the circumstances in which proposed transfer price may result in sub-optimal decision for beta limited as a whole. So what is the meaning of this sentence is they are asking you to find at what conditions the transfer price what you have proposed will result in a wrong decision for the whole company. Okay, so That is if the same product you are getting from the market at less than your variable cost. So the variable cost is 160 plus extra variable cost is 5. If you are getting the same product which is supplied by the alpha limited at less than 165 rupees per unit, then what is the proposed transfer price which you have fixed for the product will be generally a loss for the company. It will be generally a sub-optimal decision that is a wrong decision for the company. Clear? So I hope the problem is clear. Try to understand it and practice it. Thank you.